to So What If I Sew, or welcome if you're new. My name's Jess, and this is my channel all about sewing, dressmaking, and all things stitch related. And today, you join me for one of two very exciting holiday themed vlogs. So, when I say holiday, I don't mean it in the American sense, I mean it in the British sense of I'm literally going to Spain for a bit. Woo! Um, so, as part of that trip, I felt that I'd quite like to make myself some swimwear. And luckily, the pattern gods provided. So, tilling the buttons, sew over it, and Closet Core have all revealed swimwear patterns in the last week or two. I've linked them below. So, depending on your style, there's kind of something for everybody. The Coralie, which is the tilling the buttons, it is quite girly, it's frilled, but there's a non-frilled option. Um, it's kind of high-waisted. It's nice. It's a nice pattern, but it's not for me. Um, then there's the sew over it pattern, which is really nice. It's got a bit of a peekaboo here, sort of sporty line. Uh, my concern with that one for my body was that I don't think it's got enough bust room in it. And also I've been slightly put off using sew over it patterns just in the meantime, because I found the instructions for the Anderson and the Anderson blouse itself to be quite disappointing. Um, so, you know, I was, I was like, oh, they're both really cute. And then I saw the Closet Core Bay. So if you've not seen the Closet Core Fay, I've popped the illustration on screen now. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big, big fan of Closet Core anyway. I've never really found a Closet Core pattern that doesn't work for me. So that was promising. I find their body block works fairly well for my dimensions as well. So again, fingers crossed. Um, and the Fay comes in three views. So there is a view A, which is a sort of a uh, basic scoop neck bikini top with uh, straight straps down the back and like a high waisted pen. Uh, view B is more sporty, it's got like a crossover back which got a bit more support in it and a sort of low rise bikini bottom. And then view C is a tie back swimsuit. So all of them are really, really nice. And I'm still not fully sure which view I'm gonna make. So that will be part of this video really, is chatting about it. So today I am gonna be making the Fay. At the moment, I'm thinking view A top, which is the basic um, with the straps that go down the back, uh, rather than the crossover ones. But I'm, I'm torn between the view A and the view B bikini bottoms. I can't decide what I'd prefer because I feel like, and this sounds really superficial, but in terms of like tan lines and stuff, I feel like high waisted ones, surely half your stomach's really white <laughs> or like really pale. Um, but then on the other hand, it might be nice. My other two bikinis, which I'll take with me, are ready to wear because there's no point getting rid of ready to wear stuff that works already for you. Um, and they're both like low um, bikini bottom, like tie ones. So I don't know if I need another pair. However, I do have a plan to help myself get through this, which is I am, and savor this moment, everybody who always tells me to do this, I'm making a twirl. So, my main fabric is not this. This I bought last year for a swimwear project and then it just didn't go very well, so I left it to one side. This, I think, oh, it is swimwear slash activewear and I'm about 90% sure I bought it from Hey So Sister, I think. I think that's where it's from. Uh, it's very, very lightweight. Um, I wasn't gonna use it really for anything else because it's not massively my style. Um, but it is, it is nice. It's just, I don't know, I got it and then in person was like, it's beautiful, but I don't know if it's me. However, that does make it ideal twirl fabric. So my plan is to make the view A and the view A and B bottoms all in this, try them on, talk about it, see what I like, see if the sizes I've picked work. And then when I'm happy, I will move on to, not that, this. This is my beautiful red swimwear lycra, uh, real Baywatch vibes from Stitch and Ink. This is one of the reasons I never use this for swimwear is it's very, very thin. I don't know if I can show you this, if it, like if it'll show up on camera or not. So that's it in a single layer and it is, it's very like flowy and drapey and very, very like, I don't know if you can tell what the way it's hanging. It's very lightweight. Whereas this is a bit chunkier it's just that little bit heavier. It's got a little bit more stretch resistance in it. Whereas this is very, very, very stretchy. This is still stretchy, but it's got a bit more like, yeah, a bit more resistance. 
um, and it's just, it's beautiful. I love wearing red, as you guys know. That's why I've got my sizing here. Um, I love wearing red, it's gorgeous. It makes me feel summery, it makes me feel good. And particularly now I'm blonde, I kind of want to embrace the Baywatch vibes I'm saying it, it's happening. Um, so I'm very, very excited. And then Stitch and Ink also have proper swimsuit lining. And I got some of that as well to line the inside of my bikini. Um, and then the thing is, there's enough of this that if I do love it and I want to make the swimwear, like the swimsuit, or I want to make the other bikini view or anything, I've probably still got a fair bit of this left to make that. So um, I've got another holiday in October, so if I get the swimwear bug, I might have to make something for that as well. So this is the end goal, this fabric here. So white lining, red bikini, it's going to be beautiful. Um, but this, for the moment, is what we'll focus on. This is my twirl fabric. I'm not going to line it when I do the twirl, because the only reason I'm doing the twirl is, A, to check I'm happy with the fit, both on my bum, on my waist, on my hips, um, and in the top, so bust coverage, because, obviously, I'll, I'll pick a size based on my bust size, but I'm quite a small woman, um, so I have a, in, in bra terms, I have a, quite a small back, um, and a larger bust so it might be that I pick a size based on my bust but the back is massive and the front's too you know um so we might have to look at that and do some adjustments hence again why well, I want to make the twirl because I don't want to cut into this and ruin it because it's so beautiful so uh let's talk sizing actually while we're here so my plan was <sighs> so bear with me I am going to make in the twirl at least, a size eight, so a US size eight, which is like a UK 14 or something, um, 12 maybe, I don't know, um, US eight anyway. I'm gonna make that size for the top because the full bust for that is 35, which is what I am at the moment. I used to be 36, but I've lost some weight, so now I'm a 35 bust, so I feel like that's a good choice. And then the size US, uh, US size six, which is I think a size 10. Again, I'm so lost in US sizing all the way around. Um, that is a 27 inch waist and a 36 inch hip, which is exactly what I am at the moment. So I think we can probably go with that. I think that's, you know, those two sizes should work. However, a slight curved ball here, which is that, as I spoke about earlier, uh, or a second ago, the bust sizing, might be interesting, so there might be pattern piece adjusting, it might be going for a bigger size or a smaller size and adding volume or, you know, stuff's gonna happen. But also for the bottoms, those are my waist and hip sizes, but this is drafted for somebody who's five foot six, and I'm five foot two. So I checked the crotch measurements and everything, and well, they're a lot longer than I am, basically. So I might also have to do some adjustments in that direction as well. But we'll see, that's the point of doing a twirl and for swimwear I definitely encourage doing one because you just don't know how it's gonna fit. Like I know when I go and buy a bikini in a shop, I'm there for practically days trying one on until I find one I like. So definitely time for a twirl for this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the size we're gonna use and then it's a case of basically I'll probably adjust pattern pieces is probably where we're going with this. Um, but I might, yeah, I might trace them actually. I'll see. Oh, when I get the A0 out of the pattern envelope, because I got it printed, I got it as a PDF anyway, um, I'll have a wee look and see how that works. But yeah, let's let's cut out A size, do a bit of sewing, um, and see how we get on. which helpfully is just dropped onto the floor. So the bottoms fit beautifully. So those, those are fine, that size I'm happy with. They've come out like this. Um, 
so again they'll be a slightly smaller because there's folded under swim elastic and the lining but yeah that's a love it's quite a it's quite a low fit <laughs> um so just for for anyone else like it sits right sort of like my hip bones are there it does sit like level with my hip bones so it's quite low but i'm quite happy with that that's very comfortable and they were a nice fit they were a little bit loose but this fabric is a lot lighter weight than the fabric i will be using plus again with elastic around the legs and the waist and um the fabric yeah the fabric i'm using is just that little bit more robust so i think it'll be fine i'm happy with that the top couple of issues so i've not put the straps on yet because i just wanted to check the sort of um the bust coverage so as i thought i might need to do it is what is it 36 i think i went for oh i'm gonna have to remind myself sorry i made the 12 a few days ago uh where are we so i chose a size 8 which i think is a 36 bust but let's remind ourselves i don't know if you can see in the background i've got the uh, pdf pattern thing open also if you can hear that noise in the background um, there's a lot of air in our pipes at the moment and it is proving very, very challenging to film. Here we go. So I made the size 8, which is a 35 full bust. Now, this is a 35, but not where I need it. So um, what I might do is, bearing in mind I have got a bra on underneath, so it might fit differently, but at least I should be able to show you what I mean. So if I slip it on. So I have got a bra on. You may see initially what the, the first problem is. So that's where it should fit. So firstly, this, this is super, super loose on me uh, without the bra on the way. So I'm gonna take about an inch at the back, add it to the front. But then the other problem I have, and it's much more visible with a bra, is that my bra finishes there. So I'm gonna need to elongate this piece by about, yeah, what's that, about an inch? So I'm going to have to add an inch to the bottom of it, basically. So what I'm actually going to do is put the camera front down. You can see me adjusting the pieces. But yeah, otherwise it sits there, which is sort of under my bust, but it's not really got enough. So yeah, I'm going to make it almost, I think maybe an inch wider, because obviously I'm then going to... The problem is, if I do this, I'm then going to lose a bit either side for... And that barely covers me. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is add an inch lengthways, an inch that way, and then take an inch out the back. So it's still 35, <laughs> but it's a 35 with the inches where I need them. So that's gonna be my next job. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, here's my pattern piece. Um, I'm going to trace around this onto card, and then I'm gonna adjust the card, trace a new piece, and um we'll see where we get to but yeah i'll put you over the top so you can see what i'm doing <laughs> it's less indecent um so nearly there on the fit what i'm gonna do is just take literally maybe half of that inch out of the middle because the length has really helped a lot obviously with straps as well it'll pull it up and with the elastic there but there's just a little dip in the middle so i'm going to take out like literally maybe half an inch couple of centimeters just to pull it slightly back into the middle and then i think that's us i think that's the top that we're going to work with um, the thing is, with bikinis, I will never really understand why something that is basically a swimwear bra isn't done in bra sizes. Because it makes it unreasonably difficult if you're not a sort of standard body shape or size. Um, but I think, I don't normally twirl, but for this it felt, you know, like I should. So I'm going to take half a centimetre out. 
but I'm happy not to do that on, on the towel. I'm happy for that to just be, we'll do that and that's fine. Um, but what I am going to do quickly is pop the straps on this, just double check the strap length before I like sew them properly. And then I'm going to go to town. Then this afternoon, we're going to cut out the real fabric. The other reason I'm going to take half a centimetre out is because the straps are just slightly in the wrong place. But if we, sorry, half an inch, but if we take that half inch out, then it will sit perfectly. So yeah, I'm going to go and adjust the pattern once more, um, pop the straps on and just check the strap length. And then we'll be into our final, final bikini mate. I think as well, because it takes about, it took me, <laughs> it took me 30 seconds to put this top together. So I don't mind doing twirls for it because it, it's really important it fits and it's so quick to sew, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I'll pop the straps on, check the strap length, and then we're on to the real thing. up at the sort of not halfway point but I suppose in, instructionally speaking halfway point so up till now we've done everything we've done for the twirl we've just sewn the basically sewn the pieces together you just match the curves sew them together you do the same for the lining pieces for the bra and the underwear um, and the main body as well and then now we get to the lining stage so what we're going to do is put our pieces right side together they're continuous loops now oh and we attach the straps as well but again that's it's just making like a normal strap and turning it through so you're not missing anything major there um so yeah we right sides together with our lining clip it together and then we're going to sew it together with that uh medium zigzag possibly the surge zigzag which is like 1.5 times 5 which is a little bit doesn't really work for me so I'm going with five by two and that's working quite well um so what we're going to do now is attach the elastic to the neckline and all the way around the back it's really important we do this without any stretch so I didn't buy enough swimwear elastic so I have some see-through um some clear plastic elastic which can be used for it as well so I'm, I use that for the straps and I've got it as a backup for the legs 
but somewhere around me, here it is. I did buy some fancy proper swimwear elastic from Stitch and Ink, which is absolutely going on my neckline. The thing is, I got like a meter, I think, or a meter or two, which should actually be okay for my body because I'm doing the smaller versions of everything. But also it might not be because I feel like um, underwear and legs and everything, you always need more elastic than you think. Um, so we're going to see how we get on, but I've got the plastic one in reserve if I need it for legs or, you know, if I need it basically anywhere else that doesn't need as much, need as much stretch as this has. So we're going to sew this on now, leaving little gaps. So basically where that clip is will be a little gap because that's where our straps are going to thread through. I also had quite a nice idea for my straps, which is instead of, I know the style is for them to be straight. Sorry, um, it looks like I'm wearing one right now. I've got um, a Sweaty Betty sports bra on. So the, the style is for them to be just straight bikini straps like that. However, when I was wearing this, I found I quite like the crossover. So I'm gonna do a straight like X across my back. Again, so there's a bit more bust support. Um, so I must remember to do that when I do insert them. So let's attach that. And then we should really pop the straps in and then we've got to do elastic around the base and we should have a bra top. It's so, so quick, this, honestly. Um, and considering I've got one night to go until my holiday, we need to get on with it. So, let's get some elastic on. Now is the moment of truth where I realise I've like um, turned my straps and stuff out or something. Um, there's a bit of bulk here I'm going to snip off in a sec. I just want to double check the strap length first. But as you can see, we've got quite a lot of white showing. So it's time to do some top stitching. Woo! But yeah, I've got a nice cross back. Cute bikini top. So I'm going to check the strap length now. And then we're going to top stitch. You can see where it needs top stitching inside. We're going to top stitch all along there all along the band and then we're doing our base elastic which I'm quite excited by and I'm not entirely sure I need to depth read those instructions so let's do our top stitching first and then we'll meet back for the grand finale of the underbust <laughs>
we are running very low on time before my holiday so um there is going to be a little less talking for the rest of this video while i just crack on and sort this out so i'm going to move on to the bottoms um, i'm going to quickly so both created one onto the other we'll do the waistband elastic and then the leg elastic you do the same way as the bikini bottoms i believe <coughs> oh excuse me um and then we'll be ready to go but i'm exhausted and i really really want this done for my holiday i'll be really upset if it's not so um, i'm gonna go quiet for a little bit and just sort this out and then hopefully i'll have something to show you at the end of the video that's done there wasn't as much talking in the second half of the vlog but it is all very straightforward i found the instructions that i read to be very useful and the illustrations to be really useful as well there's a couple of issues so i've got the top on the top of the straps i just couldn't figure out how to make them like less bulky so that's probably somewhere i'd work on um and i ran out of swimwear elastic for one leg so i used other elastic and it's got a slightly different degree of stretch so post-holiday, I might unpick one leg and buy more somewhere elastic. But I'm really chuffed, particularly really worth doing multiple twirls for the top. Um, but if you want to see the complete and finished one, head over to Instagram, uh, where I will have revealed it while I'm on my holiday. So, um, But all that remains for me to say is thank you so much for watching, as always. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. And if you click the little notification bell, it'll tell you when I release a new video, which is really exciting. Um, until then, I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend. I know I'm having a lovely time in Spain <laughs> and I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.